Hello, my name is Maria, Maria Sanchez, and this is a presentation of William Eugene Smith, an American photographer. Smith became known because of his journalistic and documentary humanistic photography, which he discovered at an early age that how can he can um, change people people's point of view so he focused on his um, subjects to make them change their mind. Smith born in Wichita, Kansas on December 30th in 1918. He learned photography from his mother because he was interested to become a aircraft designer which he thought that um, learn photography would help would be helpful for him he started working on a local newspaper when he was um 15. when he was he wanted to quit journalism after his father committed suicide in 1936 because it was covered by the local news this caused him a heart hated of his honest journalism. But a friend of him told him that honesty is not what a, a profession but is what an individual get brings to his work. He died at the age of fifty nine in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, in consequence of his drug abuse and alcoholism, at the age of at the age of fifteen, uh, Smith was elected to work in a project for Wichita local newspaper. He earned a scholarship to study um, in Notre Dame University of Indiana where he was studying um, just for one year and moved to New York to work in Newsweek newspaper. He was fired after refusing to use a medium camera, uh, which he moved to work in a, a black, in a agency called Black Star Agency where he was a freelance photographer for magazines like Life, Collier, Collier and Harper's Bazaar. At his early, in his early career, he noticed the power that photography has and could drive social, social consciousness and, and the effect that it would be cast with, her, with his photography. He was interested in shocking stories, which that made him to be interested to work for Lifetime magazine, which he did in 1939. He was on and off with um, Lifetime magazine until 1955. He started a project in 1942 where he was covered the war in South Pacific. The one, this um, documentary was published with the firm of Sif Davis, where he was working. In 1944, he returned with Life magazine to work in different projects. He wants action. In 1945, he was documenting the invasion of Okinawa where he was targeted for with a projectile that sent him to hospital and be unable to work for almost two years. After that, he focused and do something significant, which was his memorable uh, photograph of his children, uh, walk, walk to a paradise garden which made him famous for his humanistic photography. 
after that he focused on the human the humanistic view of a an opposite of the war these photographs show the documenting the way the while he was in world war world war two this one is when um, Americans were fighting in, in ships against the Japanese. His compositional organization determined where to put the subject matter. This image tracked by itself and to await conscientiousness how how strong struggles war can cause to human beings this woman shows that is desperate to escape and save his life and child even though um, they were in a war um, Americans paramedic help civilians from their injuries. Smith just one was very perfectionist which he concluded in his images because this image shows the big struggles that he this the World War Two has been caused to Japanese because these children are an orphanage that dying from hunger after after being in a world war ii he wanted to do something significant which he just made his goal with this photograph that showed the humanist the human being as a as the opposite from the world this photograph is a it is from the documentary that he did for the nurse midwife, which he was famous for, as well as this ones, where he, this black lady um, care about all these people um, working as a nurse with a strong coverage. Two percent of his patients worldwide. A lot of sooner they have it because of the excesses of medicine. In 1948, he documented a country do doctor, which. It took him 23 days following this doc this doctor everywhere he goes and how hard he has been working for all these people that recompensate him with his charming unconditional loyalty. His last project was the one who made him really famous for it was the Minamata Japanese um, poisoning collusion from Mercury. It caused a lot of people deformities in his body parts because the water was poisoned with mercury and also affects odors as well as as a as a born defect which is um this victim has been document and the way and the conditions that he has to live she has to live and all the hard work that his mother has to do for her he was a tough photographer from his mother he he's 
he used a 35 millimeters cameras to process his black and white um, mono, monochromes um, photographs. In terms of impact, he awakened conscientiousness and sensitivity to society because um, his humanistic documentaries is really impact with his images.